would now like to show you how some of the EMT fittings are installed. This is an EMT set screw connector. This is the steel version. So I'm going to remove the lock nut from the threads and bring it over to a box that has the knockout removed. And we're going to secure it to the box using the lock nut. Make sure the set screw is facing out. I'm now going to install a piece of EMT into the connector, the set screw connector. As I place it in, I push all the way in until it stops. And then I would tighten down the set screw onto the EMT. Very important to make sure it's securely fastened. Next, we have the EMT die cast coupling. We're going to install it on this raceway. Make sure your screws are facing out and then we're going to tighten the set screw. Now we're going to install the second EMT, piece of EMT, into the set screw coupling. Place it all the way up, and then I would tighten it down. Once again, making sure it is a tight connection. So now I've officially installed the EMT coupling. One set screw is holding one raceway, and the second screw is holding on to the second. This is the EMT pulling elbow, which is used to turn 90 degrees. I'm gonna install the pulling elbow onto the EMT, and we're going to secure it and hold it in place by tightening down the set screw. If we remove these screws, we will have access to our conductors in the raceway. This access point allows me to pull my wires out and then send them in the opposite direction. This is a one hole EMT strap that we're going to use today to secure it. And this is an example of the fittings that are used to build an EMT raceway. For more information about Topaz products, please visit our website.